Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. Today it is week 6 of season 1 for the budget squad here. We're undefeated, we just couldn't to play out birth and now we're chasing that first round bye. We need 3 more wins including this game right here to get that first round bye. And hopefully we can make it as easy as the ABCs and this pick was basically as easy as ABC. And no bait, no nothing, we just follow the trail around, we get the pick and that's the fun of rookie second string. They just basically get gifts so um, we'll definitely take advantage of those while we can but I do want to talk about today's Darren Sproul takes the handoff here is uh, my plans for the Xbox One team actually not the budget squad and um, first of all just drive here check out Greg Olson I'm like you know let me, let me go to Greg Olson Greg Olson is a spin move breaks a tackle so I'm like on the next play Greg Olson you're open again I'm giving you the ball Greg Olson was kind of open I gave him the ball and we're able to draw that flag there kind of unnecessary but we're able to draw the um, unnecessary roughness on Sherman there we could have done the drive without it but we'll definitely take the gift when we get him but um I do want to talk about the Xbox One team is the plans for that team. Because while I will be playing with the souped up high overall team and stuff like that, this is an idea I had for a while that I'm going to try to implement now that the Super Bowl is over. Is um, I'm going to try to make teams, like specific teams of like an all Patriot team or an all Giants team or an all Cardinals team. Stuff like that. I'm going to try to do teams like that of... um. Either current players and or former players. I'll see how you guys feel about that. We should put former players in there too. I might need to for some of those teams. Some of the um, teams that don't have as much common players. But I was thinking we do Patriots first since they did win the Super Bowl. So um, maybe you guys will be able to see that sometime this weekend. Cause I, I want to wait until like the football outsider cards and, and um, team of the week and all that stuff gets released. And the prices drop and stuff like that. Just so I could get them at like not crazy prices and stuff like that. And we could have like a 96 Edelman or whoever the football outside of cars and be and stuff like that. So that's my idea. If you guys like the idea, let me know in the comment section if you guys have any suggestions for that. So, you know, we'll see how that rocks. Hopefully, we can make that good. Hopefully, we can do all 32 teams. That is the plan. I don't know we're going to be able to do it. But I'm definitely going to try to do as many teams as we can as we get the pick here with Sherman here. We're up 14 nothing. We're just dominating this game right now. And, um... And that's just my quick thing as we move on with Darren Sproles. Sproles already having some big plays in this game. He's trying to create another one right now. Next play, play action. Looking at Andrew Hawkins and Hawkins. Look at Hawkins, man. I, I was like, Sproles and Hawkins, those are the two dudes. As Garcon takes it for a touchdown here. Those are the two dudes that I just love. They're like little elusive short cells, man. It's awesome as we flip that dude right there. I mean, Sproles already has a nice long touchdown. Hawkins is I don't think he has a touchdown, but he's definitely been lighting it up. Tom Brady's having a good game. Of course, this is the 92 overall Tom Brady that everybody gets for free. We all That Sherman I got the pick is also the 92 Sherman. This is an 85 Tyvon branch that just jumped that pass. And now we have, you know, a nice commanding lead. We're just waiting for the dude to quit at this point. That's basically what it comes down to. But at the same time, if he doesn't quit... That's okay with me, because um, the longer these dudes play, the more coins I get out of the game. So, that's cool as Hawkins is able to get the catch. And now he finally gets that touchdown he's been working on all game long right there. We're up 28 to nothing. This is a big time blowout, and it's only going to get worse from here, man. I don't think it's going to get better. He finds a receiver, and this receiver is not able to, even able to stay in bounds. So, that's a tragic for him i guess so once the tom brady the 92 tom brady wears off i think it wears off on wednesday i'll probably go back to flacco as we force the fumble here and get the recovery with thornton that's our first forced fumble and recovery for the budget squad so that's pretty cool as darren sproles at least as far as i know as sproles punches it in for a touchdown but yeah um Probably go back to the 86 team of the week flag goal once I can find another quarterback higher overall. Maybe the 91 flag with that football outside of flag goal. That thing drops in price to like 2,000 coins or something like that. I mean, hey, maybe. Or like even 3,000 coins. I bought that team of the week 86 one for 4,000. So that thing drops. I mean, we, we might have to look at another flag goal, man. Like, it's just it's just a coincidence that it came out with a football outside of flag goal while I'm doing this budget squad thing. And we might have to look at that Cyprian there at safety, too. Even though we have Tyvon Branch, you know. Just got to look at those football outsider players and see what we could do. And here my controller actually dies so i wasn't able to guard that i would have been there in that area i, I can't say i would have made the play on it but i definitely would have been watching that like vertical play but uh controller died but we were able to get a new controller in time for the next play thankfully he didn't run hurry up or else um i would have now, who knows what would have happened? This dude probably threw a pick anyways, actually. But, um, anyways, they're down now regarding his stuff, and now he's throwing it into coverage. So, I put that's Hodges that dropped in here. We tell who fourth down. He's trying to run his vertical play. Got a curl route built in for whatever reason. He throws it, even though Sherman's there the whole time. Sherman drops it, but it doesn't really matter because it's a turnover on downs. And now when you look at the scores, we throw it to Darren Sproles, and Sproles is going to take off for a touchdown here. You think about 100. Because 49... 
pretty much 50 at the halfway point of the game. Halfway of 100 is 50. You start thinking about, hey, should we go for the 100-point barrier right now? And um, I really did not have any attention of, like, doing anything but putting on shoe clock and getting this game over with. But then, I don't know, the urge hit me, like, damn, let's just go for 100. So that's what I did right here. I'm like, all right, we're going to run hurry up. We're going to try to dot him up the field as quickly as possible. And the thing is, we got to get this drive going as soon as possible. And unfortunately, this drive already takes a minute right here. We're able to find Garcon. The good news about this one, though, is Tom Brady is 17 for 17. The bad news is that streak's about to be broken. I tried to squeeze one in for Garcon after hitting the last one to Garcon, but he um, ended up dropping it. Can't really blame him for that. That was like tight, tight coverage. And there, Tom Brady just misses the throw. But we end up getting a safety out of this play. The bad news is it took us like a minute and a half to score two points. We're not on pace to score 100. At least we're up by 51. So we do have that going for us, you know. <laughs> so uh, we're going to still try to score as soon as possible. We're still going to run hurry up here like douchebags. I, I really would not be running hurry up unless the 100 point thing was in my head. But since it is, we're running hurry up here with Garcon, trying to get whatever we can, trying to scat for touchdowns. Because once we get this touchdown here in offense, then it's up to the defense to create turnovers and give a short field. Because hopefully this is like the longest field we have for the rest of the game. Oh, uh, like an 80-yard drive and stuff like that as he comes out running verticals. And, man, we needed that pick. We needed that pick to get a quick score right there. But, um, we're still up 58 nothing, so it's okay. It's, um, he gets knocked down by Kerrigan. Kerrigan's been pretty decent off the edge, or whoever whoever the hell it is. Those dudes have been – actually, it's Tulek. I think those last two plays. And Tulek ends up getting the sack that time. We're almost getting it. And we almost get the pick there. But it's going to be a turnover on downs. And we're not going to have a shot at 100 because he's going to end up quitting, which is fine by me. Um, gets me out of the game. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team games. Let me know what you guys think about the all, like, the team specific squad, like all um, Redskins squad, all the stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.